We all listen in four ways. The way we prefer to listen is also the way we prefer to be communicated with. Today, we're going to learn all four of these listening styles, how to identify them, and how to communicate with each one of these listening styles. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Husband's Coach's Corner, the podcast that teaches husbands how to love their wife every day and become better men in the process. I'm your host, Chris Scott, a.k.a. The Husband Coach. Welcome back to another episode of The Husband Coach's Corner. Today, as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about the four listening styles. These are really cool techniques to learn how to communicate, and they go beyond just your marriage. But today's episode is going to be 100% focused on how you can become a better communicator with your wife. The four listening styles are people listening, action listening, content listening, and time listening. Everyone has all four of these listening styles. We just tend to have a preference of one. And it does change over time, so it's important that you learn how to assess so you can go back and identify where you are at the point that you're doing the assessment. The listening style that we choose to use in any given situation is going to be affected by our emotion, the place we're at, the person we're talking to, the things that we're doing, etc., However, under stress, you will tend to revert back to the one that you feel the most confident in or the most comfortable uh, listening style. So let's go ahead and unpack all four of these listening styles very, very briefly. So the first one is people listening. People listeners, they're really good at reading body language and they speak with a lot of emotion and they tell you their full life story. Now, these these individuals, if you ask them a question, they're just going to reply with every single detail about that particular thing. This is usually uh, someone who they collect up a lot of memories and they cherish memories, uh, but they also want to connect on a deeper level with you uh, more than just a conversation. Now, when they share all their information with you, they expect you to respond in the exact same way. They just love to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and they may not ever stop talking. The next one up is the action listener. These guys, they don't want to hear you talk. All they want is the wave tops, the most important details about the conversation. Give me the highlights. They are not, I repeat, they are not the person uh, that wants to talk like the people talker. They just want to hear what they need to hear so they can gather what they need to gather and go do what they need to do. They're the action listener. They're ready to go take action. Next one up is content listening. Content listening is the person who wants every piece of detail before they can even reply to you. So they ask lots and lots of questions to get more and more information. And finally, the time listener. These are people who are heavily driven by time and they're influenced by being able to get stuff done in a timely manner and they put you on the calendar. If you can talk to them and get whatever it is that you need to get done within the time limit that they've allotted you, you're going to be good. But as soon as you go beyond that time limit, they're going to kick you out or they're just going to shut you off and Uh, or shut you down and walk away. So it's very important to know if you're dealing with a time person because they're only listening to you in the time frame that they've already given you, unless they explicitly tell you, here's some more time. But again, that's still within the time frame that they've already given you. All right, so now that we know the four different listening styles, it's important that we learn how to connect with each of these individuals because once we connect with them, that means we can get exactly what it is that we were looking to get out of that conversation. To connect with a people person, we have to reach out to them on an emotional level. That means if they are feeling some type of way during that conversation, connect with them on an emotional level and then ask them the questions or give them the guidance that you want them to get. They will pay attention to you that much more. You have to first meet them on their level, give them the information, and then move on and go about your day. 
This is extremely important to learn with our wives. Our wives may be this people person or this people listener. And they're looking for us as the husband to be one way more sympathetic. This, you know, outside of the house uh, may be a little bit different, but inside of the house with your wife, they're looking for us to be way more sympathetic, empathetic as well. Uh, and I should say empathetic more than sympathetic. All right. Connecting with them is extremely important on so many levels. Connect with your wife, meet her where she is, people listener or not. The second one action listener. Uh, if your wife is an action listener, just give her bullet points, give her time to analyze it and then move on. All right. Don't harp on something, say it once and then make sure that she acknowledges or she understands and then roll on to the next conversation or the next topic. Action listeners do not want to spend more time on on any one subject then they absolutely have to. So it's important that you say what you have to say and move on to the next thing. Then the content listener. Oh man, the content listener. If your wife is asking you a lot of questions as you guys are discussing, then answer the questions because she is more than likely a content listener, at least in that moment. She's pre or she's uh, exhibiting content listener behavior because she wants more information so she can make a decision or come to a conclusion for herself. Give her that information. Don't withhold it. Don't uh, be concerned about it. Just give her the information and you guys will uh, move on. And then the time listener. If your wife is constantly rushing you through things, rushing you through conversations, uh, but she's not looking for the bullet points. She wants information, but you have to give her the information in the time constraint that she is allowing you to speak to her. Uh, this could be because she's trying to go uh, put the kids to bed or uh, she has somewhere that she needs to be. You only get so much time, so you have to be aware. But time listeners typically only want to hear what you have to say in the time frame that they allow it. So if that's the case, be quick and be respectful of the time. Say, okay, I see you got somewhere to be. Here's the deal. What do you think? And then go on about your day. So let's go ahead and go into our drill for the week. This week, very simple. I want you to identify your listening style and your wife's listening style. Figure out what it is that you do on a regular basis or the listening style that you prefer and the listening style that your wife prefers. Once you understand what listening style your wife has, I want you to tailor your communication with her to fit her listening style. Take notes and see if it's beneficial because you may misinterpret the listening style that she has or that she prefers. I think this is also a good technique to share with her because if she knows that you're looking for a listening style, she can also look for a listening style in you or you can just share it with her once you identify what it is and then you can both tailor your communication to whatever your particular listening styles are. If you found this helpful, then go ahead and leave the show a uh, comment, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a review on whatever the podcast platform you listen on. And until next time, I want you guys to find a way to love your wife every day. Peace.